Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War! I am Mad Mike, and I am here in Poughkeepsie. What the fuck? Where am I? Um, alright, hold on, guys, this is not a drill. Sorg, are you out there? Uh, yeah, I'm right across from you. What the fuck? Where am I, Sorg? You're in Pittsburgh, PA, in the Mayhem Studios, sir. Sorg, Sorg, who the fuck is this? According to the title, wait, wait, hold on, there you go. There, there's a title under you, because we, you're in the studio, and that's what we do. You read the screen in front of you. You're Larry. <laughs> Wrestling. <laughs> when did I turn into Larry? No, 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 I only have Someone one. thought I was Frank earlier this I... week. <laughs> I've had so many names. Granted, that person was two years old, but still, I've had so many. Hi, Larry. Hi, how Hi. are you? We are meeting for the first time yes. ever. Yeah, you are, actually. Real. And we had to bring Sorg Studio all the way to Poughkeepsie to do it. Yes. <laughs> yes you we're... don't want to know what the shipping fees were like See, on that. See, when Sorg said the studio was moving, that's what he meant. It's Eight on... hours to podcast. It's weekly. on a trailer truck. The most difficult transfer behind you. What? Oh, the Roman Reigns? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's a work of art. No. Of course, it's legit a work of art. photo of oh. you and Jericho. <laughs> the creation. All right. So we're here at Talk 205 Live. We are. We are. The, yeah. the, and the dog is coughing up along. Yeah, by and the way, um, for those of you who watch all of the Midweek War segments. Hi, Chris. I'm, hi. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to be redoing this bit on all levels. <laughs> Just so you're aware. <laughs> and for the people on stream so you don't yes. get confused. And, and also... For those of you who are looking for the impact report this week, um, I'm sorry. This is but, a mental health vacation for me, so I take but, that as but an, Mike, I'm not going to watch But impact. Mike, you have to wear the fuck that out shirt that's right beside you. To Chachi's wedding. Uh, <laughs> done. I hear they have a done. Pet, I hear they have a petting zoo that might have an owl. <laughs> Done. Mike he said it was casual. Mike he said it was casual. Mike, what are we actually here to do? We're here to talk some two oh five live sword. Which is great because Larry yeah. is our live two oh five live emotional correspondent on Tuesday nights. Yes. Yes. And this is your first time actually talking about it on the wrap up show. Yes. Which means I don't have to do anything because this is not live on Tuesday. Right. Well, well, you have to discuss it. Oh, do I? Mean, I? Give your yeah, opinion. You have to talk about it. You don't want to yeah. watch it now. You, but, I mean, you, don't, was, no, you don't have to watch it now. I I was mean, told presumably, were, you've already right, seen it. I have. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right. Good. Whew. A success. The only requirement for this show has been met. <laughs> A success is you. <laughs> All right. Um. So, Larry, you don't you don't know how we do things on maybe unless do you, do you watch them? I do. Morning? I watch oh, okay. it every morning. Okay. So Friday so you, mornings. So you know what we do here. So. Larry, since, since since you are the official Mayhem Show correspondent for 205 Live, what is your one word for 205 Live this week? Banana. <laughs> Starting off hot. Sork! <laughs> Sork, what is your one word for 205 Live this week? Uh, my, my, two, my one word is FaceTime, because we still did that. <laughs> hey, I like that bit, all right? I, am, I, am, I thought that bit was hilarious. I can't get past the technical problems with that bit. Did you see after he closed it out what the screen was? I was no. curious. What was it? What, it was like was a it? brief. I couldn't tell. It was like a brief, like, they closed the screen and it was like some weird code. I hope, notes I hope it was just programming. Like, Thing. I hope it was like, but it was, it was like very brief. I that, hope it was, it was like, like 900 like, sex numbers. It might have been. <laughs> like, no, I'm Dar's getting freaky freaky on the download. Um, um. My, my, my word this week is commentating. Oh. Yes. Commentating. Well, can, can I touch on that? Sure. Because I know Vic. Oh, really? I know. So, uh, wait, wait. Is this a Mayhem bump? I have. Uh, uh, well, he's never been on the Mayhem. I, I don't okay. know if you saw a message I put on Slack. He used to work with Prime Wrestling oh. that we used to do. And okay. I actually randomly ran into him. He was in town for House of Hardcore. Oh, okay. So I got to catch up with him a little bit. The next thing I heard, he got picked up by WWE. And here he is on 205 Live. So so awesome to see. You know, we talk about our guys and kind of looking out for them. Uh, by the way, watch some Super Indy 9 Mustafa Ali. Very, very different, <laughs> mm -hmm. by the way. Um, is and it all ground game? It, well, <laughs> he basically is Arya Davari's character. Ah! 
Ba- <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. He, ba- he is. He is. Uh, that's what he was doing back then. Um, but uh, but but no. So so props for Vic, and I thought he did a great job this week. Yeah, that, I mean, it was that was going to be my good this week. So we can jump right into that. Like my good this week was hearing someone other than Tom Phillips. Thank God. Just too much Tom Phillips for you? Way too or? much Tom Phillips. Okay. And, and, he is on and, NXT as well. Yeah, and Vic was really good. And SmackDown. Yeah. yeah. SmackDown. Good. And good to see him, because I don't think he had done much NXT commentating. No, I Any? think he, I think he was he's more backstage. of a backstage guy. Yeah. That's what yeah, they like. Th- the only time I remember seeing him, I think, was on like the pre-show for TakeOvers and stuff. <laughs> okay. That makes yeah, sense. I don't remember seeing him on like the actual commentary team or anything, but I thought he did a really good job. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. yeah he was he was always super pro working with him up there. Um, funny, he actually back when uh, Labar was like the commissioner. Justin Labar was a commissioner mm-hmm. for for Prime Wrestling. He was the evil commissioner, <laughs> uh, working with Marion Fontaine, uh, okay. which was very interesting. I think I think they did that angle through the end of Prime Wrestling when it closed. Oh, so so he's partially responsible for closing down a promotion. Aren't we all though? <laughs> Aren't we well, all yeah, yeah, like, so, like, some like when, more than others? When but... Impact goes away, I will take credit. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, I I've will been, take credit. I've been driving this into the ground for years. They have blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> That's I've, true. Have any of you ever been blocked <laughs> by a there's been an entire wrestling I'm, company? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure I I have. I didn't. That wasn't responsible. <laughs> what? It, what I mean, thing. isn't that like the thing these days? Like, like, what is your badge of honor? Being blocked by a wrestling company or the president of the United States? Because we know I'm people hoping that, for both. Because uh, RJ said he just got blocked by Mr. Trump. So uh, <laughs> just. Okay, new life goal for 2017. <laughs> I'm just going to keep tweeting pictures of... I'm just going to keep tweeting him Lucha Underground gifts of Dario Cueto. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, that's happening. That is... I, I will start that shit tonight. There you go, there you go. Anyways, anyways yes, anyway, you're good. My, commentary my good the commentary. Was, I thought the great. commentary was great. Uh, Larry, what was your good this week? My good this week was Tazawa. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I got a truth I'm, commercial. I, I, I'm genu- I'm ge- genuinely interested in where he's going with the Titus brand. I, yeah, I, like, really, I, I really like it. Like be, because because after the match, like there was that little segment with um, Titus and Neville, mm-hmm. and <laughs> Titus I'm so Punk sorry for out. the dog sounds yeah. in the background. By the way, I don't know what he's doing. Drink some water. <laughs> like like Tit- Titus is like almost like his enforcer. Yeah. You know. It was it was it's awesome. Like I I think <laughs> Titus is convincing people to join the Titus brand based on Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> like if I spend enough time with these people, they will join me. You know, if I'm just always around. Yep. You know, I, it's just like... If I'm picking them up out of the crowd like little babies. Yeah. It will, it will eventually work. If I, as long as he's not like... Uh, what was the thing he awkwardly did where he mouth kissed his son on, on a pay-per-view one time? Oh, God. <laughs> like, is that part of it? Um, yes. <laughs> I was like, like, what else is happening? Um, no, I, I have... Is this the most excited we've been for t- Titus O'Neil? No, Slater Gator. Um, Slater Gator. Okay, okay. Is this the I second don't remember most? Remember that. So yes, this is the most. Okay, excited good, I've good, been good, good. Um, so, but, but I, I mean, and it doesn't require him to wrestle. He's the largest sure. manager. Oh, actually, ever. no. It's not even Slater Gator. It's Pancake Patterson. Pancake Patterson. Pancake Patterson. No. Yeah, Pancake Patterson was great. You know why he was called Pancake? Because he flattens fools. <laughs> yep that's a real thing if you're on audio larry is now broken mm-hmm. after that one and he is now oh thanks oh for my god me. the the broken he's out he's out <laughs> the broken gimmick finally came back to wrestling <laughs> embodied by larry there you go there you go delete delete Bro- broken mutilator larry <laughs> oh why is that drone here oh no <laughs> vanguard two how dare you um, so oh, I, I haven't told my drone experience from last week on any of the shows yet. Uh, we, we almost have to do an impact so I can talk about that. Um, but anyways, but uh, my good, yes. I, I mean, I, I guess I got the second the Tazawa and the um, uh, the Tazawa thing. You know, I'll give I'll give a secondary good. Okay. They were doing a promo for Mustafa Ali, and it got broken into oh, by yes. Juku. <laughs> so good, oh, man! I love. <laughs> it's so much fun, Drew. 
Drew is such a serious character, but he can be a ham. Well, he's, he's Lance Storm. Uh, man, he's, he's got he's, he's like he's American got, Lance Storm. He has more personality than I, I was gonna yeah. say. He's got more charisma than Lance Storm. I mean, you know, all respect the Lance, but man, he's like Lance had that unintentional. Um, he was drier than the Sahara Desert. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's right. That, that's good. That's good. Okay, so are you wait, trying? Wait. Are you trying to piss off Team Storm? Team Storm? Uh, right. Well, no, no, no. We just got props from Team Storm the other day. It's all right, but uh, yeah, but though it's still Canadian Dry Jackson Argus. Uh, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> that fits. <laughs> right? Exactly. Absolutely. Canada right? Dry Jackson Jackson Argus. Yes. Canada Dry. Canada Dry. Um. <laughs> But anyways, get those uh, sponsors. Yeah, get those sponsors. ABC well, always be closing. Like always else, be. Closing. I mean, have, take have that, you really... Jimmy Johns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, what's um, up, Slice on Broadway? Uh, but anyways, no, oh, that, yeah, I can't that's my good Sunday Sork. Oh, it's gonna be there a sl- just, it's gonna be a slice of Palooza. We had we had slice and we had Big Shot Bob's wings at the top of the hill. You should have came out early, man. God damn it. <laughs> What? We're I know we're having yeah. a party Sunday. Yeah. If you're in the area, in the Pittsburgh area, oh, not man. Poughkeepsie, there is a pizza party. Come down, have some pizza. It, if you if you thought I was an illusion, you can actually come meet me in person. Yep. We're gonna go invade slice on Broadway. He's poking him. He's poking him. And he's real. He's real. There you go. Unless you don't think Larry's real either. Mike In which case we're both illusions. Mike, what's the <laughs> The Matrix? <laughs> Mr. Anderson, uh, Sorg, what was your bad for 205 Live this My week? My bad for this week is FaceTime. Oh, uh, it was FaceTime. so good. No. It's so good. It reminds me of when my mom calls me on FaceTime. That's the point. <laughs> Ali- if you've ever seen Total Divas, you know Alicia Fox is basically bad at anything to do with technology. Okay, yeah, but she's not as annoying in general from the Alicia. ones that I've seen. And, and she's like her girl crush with uh, Paige is is adorable. So well, I think we all have a different kind of crush on Paige. Now. Well, there's that too. There's that too. <laughs> so, but no, I mean that that that's like the part that I'm like, yeah, we could do without this. So maybe it's one of those things that keeps going and it, and it sells me on it. But we'll see. All right, well, I, I I liked it. I th- I thought it was I thought it was a really fun bit. <laughs> I I like that like. I guess my bad will be that Alicia doesn't realize what's happening to Noem. <laughs> okay, that's my bad. Like she like clearly she, doesn't pay the nine ninety nine. Yeah, she like she's not watching the show. She's just looking at the. Yeah. But she sees the bottom rope and she's like, "Oh, he's probably doing something, or he's knocked out." One way or the other. But yeah, I, I guess that would be my bad. Deal five live was pretty solid this week. Is that your bad? Yeah. Okay. That, that Alicia didn't wasn't paying attention to the Alicia, actual camera. Ali, Alicia's Alicia's um, attention skills. Well, I mean, you know, fucking millennials, Sorg. Fucking millennials. Is she a millennial? I'm a millennial. I think she's like our age, right? Yeah, I know. I'm a millennial. Okay. I'm on the cusp, but all right. still, yeah. you know, technically. Right. Because I thought yeah. it was okay. Anyways, yeah, we're we're all millennials, Sorg. We are, are we? Groot. We are Groot. The, I don't know. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Exactly. Oh, oh yeah, he's over there. Oh, I agree. There's Groot. Uh, <laughs> Larry, what was your bad this week? My bad was the same thing. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't the uh, FaceTime. I didn't really care about that, but the fact that that's that we're, that we're still doing this. That yeah, yes. <laughs> Cedric should be having a title run right now. Hey, you know what? He's he's too good to be doing soap operas with Alicia Fox and Noam Dar. Yeah, I think we're gonna get to that eventually, like with Cedric going for a title, but. If you think about it, a FaceTiming girlfriend is the new manager for the 21st century. <laughs> I was thinking they were... Could you imagine that? Like, imagine if Fonzie was FaceTiming RVD throughout his whole matches. Oh, jeez. You just hear the whistle. Yeah. And the best thing is, it's a manager that can't be attacked. That would be so annoying, having that. Like that well, bl- I'm, I'm just saying, like, from a wrestler's standpoint... Hear, hearing their voice blasted over the speakers on the arena. You yeah. know what I mean? Isn't yeah, that yeah. kind of the point, though? Oh, I mean, God. Jimmy Hart had a megaphone. Alfonso had that's the whistle. Yeah. It's not much different. Wow, that's... Yeah, it's that's it's, point, it's right? not much that's different. A very good point. See? Okay. okay. Paul, Paul Heyman's cell phone. 
Oh my god, Paul Heyman, if Paul Heyman could have just set that phone down and set it to speaker and ban the back, calling out all the shots, that would be I, great. I hope they have another Raw throwback episode just so Paul Heyman comes out with the cell phone. I I would just rather him come out with a dangerous alliance. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather just have him do that. Yeah, yeah, like, that's true. Like Brock Lesnar, Sheamus, and Cesaro. The do new you dangerous alliance. when we were doing that? big question where we were saying which uh, uh, superstar you'd want to revert to their original gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Paul Paul Lee that, dangerously. One of them. There you go. That's that'd a good one. one. Of them. That's a good one. Yeah. All right. Uh, but Sorg, what would you like to change about 205 Live this week? If there's anything. The FaceTime is Google Hangout. God damn it. <laughs> Why not Skype? Why not? Oh, uh, yeah. That's more realistic. Okay. Okay. Give some, give some Android love. Was there a cricket logo on the side of that phone? I didn't catch. Uh, how about how about Alicia Fox can only communicate in um, not in Vine. What was what was the other app that they tried to push? Oh, uh, Tout. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Alicia Snap bringing it back. Alicia Fox can only communicate. Can in we touts. do a thing where like somebody on the roster never left Tout because it was the company line? I assume that's Zack Ryder. If they <laughs> if they did Snapchats, they would have more control over their time segments. <laughs> you get a minute. You That's did true. learn something from your uh, assistant. Yes. There you go. Excellent. All right, uh, Larry. What would you change about two hundred five live? Um, aside from that whole Cedric Alexander thing we just talked about, um, I don't understand the banana. Um, he is the protein king, or the potassium king. Excuse me. Really? Yeah. That's if why you, he... If you watch every single Austin Aries segment, he always has banana. I know. That's why yeah. I don't understand the banana. He's a potassium king. All right. Well, it's I, probably there's probably a whole chapter that one, on bananas. Yeah, in his you book. saw his book, right? Like it's I about did. it's about food. Okay. In nutrition. I guess. Yeah, it's like about a vegan lifestyle. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Which well, include- my change wouldn't be that. It would be the fact that he's just like stepping back. That's my change. Okay. I don't know if they. I don't know if it's an actual injury or storyline injury, but. Uh, I, I think know. it's probably a little both. Yeah. Because, I mean, Brian Kendrick went away after the Tazawa feud, so I think this is just their way of getting rid of Aries for a while. And then yeah. Maybe he can come back as a heel. Yeah. Like, he can come back as a uh, heel against Tazawa or against Cedric. It just, or it, like it just seemed like it, it kind of like these past three months have been for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're preaching to a choir on that one, I mean. Mm-hmm. The you fact know, that there was I mean? not one title change there, in that there like, was a, there wasn't a significant moment for the last three months since he's just leaving for a little bit and getting a fresh start. Yep, right. basically. Right. Um, my my change I, right. my change I think would be the Rich Swan TJP segment. Like I I don't know what we're doing with it. I don't know why Rich Swan was like, oh, but you got all cocky and now you called yourself TJP like. We didn't ever see him making that decision. Like it was, it was like, it was like Alexander Rusev just turned to Rusev, Antonio right. Cesaro just turned to Cesaro. Right, and we're we're kind of retconning why it happened. Yeah, but like, if that was the point of this, then we should have had some kind of segment that, like, why did T.J. Perkins stage, change his name? Mm-hmm. Like, is he T.J. Perkins when he's face and T.J.P. when he's a heel? Because that doesn't make any sense. That'd be like, oh, I'm RVD. I'm Rob Van Dam when I'm a face, but I'm RVD when I'm a heel. It doesn't make any sense. We need to talk to Road Dog. This is true. His complacency is starting to bleed over onto the good show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Road Dog. That damn dartboard. Um, all right, well. I, I um, think he has carpal tunnel. He might. He might. I wouldn't be surprised. That's probably why he was always shucking and driving in the ring. <laughs> just because he couldn't keep his hands still <laughs> okay so you look perplexed sorry. okay that's uh, all right yeah okay yeah no that's sure i i'm i'm not a doctor but i play one in my dreams, so it's fine it's same thing you're a doctor like uh luke gallows is a doctor luke, and, right? yes and you play yes. one at comic-con and yes i have so I ha- even more so. i'm te- I, I am technically the doctor so okay yeah. Of thugonomics? Um, no, no, just just the oh. doctor, the, the English one, Doctor Who. 
Uh, all the oh, that's oh Sorg, that's a crossover cosplay. John Cena as the Doctor. Wait, what? Oh, he needs to pop out. The of Doctor of Thugonomics. Oh, next. Oh. You, that's gonna be the next Doctor. Oh, you he's, need to get that. That's why he's a free agent. You need that. That's tar- why he's a free you, agent. You need that TARDIS that that that's that floats around Pittsburgh here. The one that like you, <laughs> no, you, you know no, what I'm talking about, Sorg, right? Sorg. Like the one that's on wheels, and uh-huh. like you see that on Market Square. Yeah. But then you're just John Cena jumping out no, of it. No, but Sorg, and whenever the TARDIS materializes, you don't hear the. You hear. Oh yes, yeah. so we we fixed it. We fixed <laughs> we it. We fixed the chameleon circuit. Yes, absolutely. Now it just says Brabado. I want to find out how they got the person who knows the voice of Jar Jar Banks to do his entrance music. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what do we do next on the show? Uh, well, um, Larry, where does 205 Live rank for you out of the two shows you've watched this week? Uh, between this and NXT? Yes. Um, one. Okay. All right. Uh, Sorg, how about you? Uh, uh, one as yeah, well. One. One as well. Okay. I'm going to be difficult, and I'm going to say three. Whoa. Out of the three shows. Out of the two shows. I, I've, I've watched it's three. For, it's for I'm, whatever you've seen. I've, oh, watched, I've yeah. watched three. Okay. I, I've, well, I've also watched Lucha Underground. Okay, my answer is the same. Yes. Um, three. So three. so behind NXT and behind Lucha Underground. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Yes, and, we'll, indeed. and we'll find out why uh, uh, coming up. Yeah, I, I mean, it wasn't a bad show. It's just those other shows, man. <laughs> <laughs> those other shows okay I, I watched lucha also this week but it wasn't as climactic as... That, that's because that's because you're not at the same you're on episode like episode eight at, where yeah. where bad things happen to renegade yeah <laughs> I, I saw i saw and, and drago no, face neil Muertes. uh and that's not your fucking number one that you need to reevaluate good. that's true too. oh no wait that's wait true. mil Muertes still has blue pants yes. oh I, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah i understand yeah. He's a. He's, I understand. He's, Spoiler alert. <laughs> what? That he has blue pants? No, no. Well, I'm. I felt like I, you were gonna say something. Oh no, no! It's a spoiler alert. He does eventually lose the blue pants. Does he get other pants? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> no, I no. think there's. He, a, just, <laughs> he just turns into naked mill man. I was worried he was gonna turn into Keith Hot. I'm pretty sure there's a. <laughs> I'm, pretty sure there's, I'm pretty sure there's a. I'm pretty sure there's a comic book explaining the change in pants. Okay. Yes, there is. <laughs> there absolutely is, and trust me. It's significant. It is significant. <laughs> Are you nuts? Bobby was waiting for weeks for Mil Muertes to change his pants. I'm not even joking. You can go back in the tweets. Bobby was waiting for weeks for Mil Muertes to change his pants. It's true. It's absolutely true. All right. So, uh, Sorg, where can the good people find you on the internet? Sorgatron on the Twitter. And Larry, where can people find you on the internet? Somewhere on the Twitter. Okay, you can contact his assistant. Uh, you can find me at MadMike4883 on the Twitter machine. Also go to at Mayhem Show when I live tweet things. Follow the hashtag MM. It's a lot weirder doing that like with the camera so far away. Um, but yeah, uh, go to our Facebook group. Tell us what you think of 205 Live. Tell us if you're watching 205 Live. If you're not, you should be because it's really good. All right, and uh, we will catch you next week where I don't know where the hell I'm going to be on the Midweek War!